it's me again and welcome to Faith's Feels. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Faith Grenade and I put makeup videos here on YouTube. And you should subscribe! And there's a bell down there. It's right next to the subscribe button. If you ring that little bell, it'll let you know every single time I upload so you never miss a single moment of this riveting action. What you've stumbled across is Faith's Feels, where I give you my feels, either a first impression or a review, on a makeup product or life in general. And today we're actually talking about makeup on a makeup channel. What? This was originally not what I was going to film today. I was going to film a look with this. And, uh, well, no. I have no lip color on, and you guys know what that means. It means it's time to test out a brand new liquid lipstick, specifically one from NARS. A little bit of a disclaimer, yes, I'm aware NARS is no longer cruelty free. Uh, I am testing these things in the interests of reviewing, but just so y'all know, NARS has now opened up its market to China, meaning it will require animal testing. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. Uh, they also have another matte lip, like a velvet lip glide, I think it's called, um, that is not transfer resistant, so I'm not really sure what the difference is between that and this. The packaging is definitely different, but I'm going to take you guys through the claims of this product. I'm going to put it on on camera for you, talk through my thoughts, and then I'm going to take you throughout my day to see if it holds up to the standards of liquid lipsticks of the past. So this is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. This retails for $26. Ugh! Holy cow, that's expensive! Uh, uh, just to kind of reference pricing. Uh, Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipsticks are $18, and Sephora's Cream Lip Stains are $14, so $26 is a hefty, hefty price tag. Claims to be an innovative, weightless, matte liquid lip pigment with ultra-flexible, lasting wear. We'll see about that. It says, this power matte lip pigment is infused with liquefied pigments with infinite matte color saturation for lasting, weightless wear. The custom doe foot applicator provides effortless, precise application and full coverage in one swipe. Okay. Uh, it's sensorial lightweight texture applies like ink on your lips and then it dries down instantly to lock in color for smudge resistant, carefree wear. Impart any lip look with shades that flatter all skin tones from neutral to bold to suit any occasion. So hefty claims on this one. It does say, precaution, shake well before use, product may stain. Please make sure the cap is securely closed when product is not in use, which is why I've been shaking it this whole time, because you are supposed to shake this, which is painted black is the shade name, and it is a jet black, or at least it claims to be. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check this puppy out. The packaging has a little window here, which you can barely see because the product is black, um, but that shows you the product. This is beautiful packaging. Very, very sleek, very streamlined, makes a lot of sense, very practical, but at the same time, it sort of has this uh, stylish feel to it. You know, it's NARS. They're known for the stylish, swanky packaging. Pop this open. All right, there's your doe foot. It's interesting. It's like a pointed arrowhead shape. I'd imagine that's going to make application pretty fun. It's slightly rounded, not as flat as some of the doe's feet I've seen, but let's go ahead and try out Paint It Black. I put on a lip oil before filming this, so most of it's off, but I'll just get the rest of it off here. All right, let's do this. Okay, all right, so there we go. I have some thoughts. I like the doe foot applicator. It's very precise, it's very pointed, which makes getting a straight line pretty easy. However, hmm, in terms of pigmentation, I'm honestly less than impressed. This is three layers, guys. And this is three layers of product, and you can see I'm still getting some patchiness up in through here where it's not completely opaque. So that claim of full opacity in one swipe, I don't think so. Not too terribly heavy. It's not sticky at all. I'm waiting for it to kind of set down because 
uh, the one major sort of hang up I have about this, this is very thin and very, very watery. So no wonder they have you shake it up before you apply it, right? It's very thin, it's very watery, and because of that, you're, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners. You know, when you're just starting out applying liquid lipstick, it can be a little bit tough to get a clean line, to get everything filled in, to not go outside the lip line. And this is gonna be even harder because the formula is so watery and so runny, it can be a little bit unforgiving. But the doe foot somewhat makes up for that in that it is so precise you can really kind of work the lines and get where you want to be, but I'm still seeing a little bit of patchiness. So I'm going to go in with a third and a half layer and see if I can't get this to be completely opaque now that it's starting to set. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, we're getting full opacity now. So I would say it takes probably two and a half to three dips into this to get full opacity on the entire mouth, which Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipsticks can get perfect opacity in one dip. I do not need to dip back into the component at all. So, um, yeah, so far, considering the price tag, I'm, I'm a little bit mixed about it. We're not running into any stickiness at all whatsoever. And, um, yeah, looks pretty nice. So, that's where we're at. Here we go. I'm looking at the time now. It's currently 1228. I'm getting a little bit late start to the day than I originally intended, but hey ho, what can you do? Um, by the way, the palette on my eyes today is one of the new Lorac Unzipped Sunset palettes. Uh, the one I'm wearing is Ocean Sunset. It's fabulous. So it is 1230. I'm going to go ahead and go about my day. I have a busy, busy day today. I'm actually buying a pickup truck, which is pretty exciting. Um, and also very, very, very country bumpkin of me. Super exciting. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you how this holds up. Okay guys, I am back for my first check-in. It's not quite four o'clock. We still haven't left for truck shopping yet. Not quite four o'clock. I think I finished up my makeup at like noonish, 12.30. So this is like four hours in and I have eaten and drank. I had lunch, I had some leftover mac and cheese, which was delicious. And it's not looking terrible, but you can see under my lower lip line, you see those little lines there, right here? That is bleeding. And that is not what you want to see with a dark colored lipstick, but I would feel the need to reapply at this point because the pigmentation's a little bit inconsistent across the lower lip uh, and we're getting some bleeding. So I am going to reapply at this point. I am, this has some, some good points for sure, but I can already tell you, it's not gonna be worth no dang $26. And I will see you guys in a few hours. Hey everybody, it's me checking in for the final check-in for this NARS liquid lipstick and uh, it's not looking great guys. It's about midnight. Um, I'm home. I didn't really do too many vloggy type things today because I just bought a truck. Well, uh, we just bought a truck. My husband and I bought a 2016 Nissan Frontier. Pretty excited about it. It's a cool truck. I like it and I feel even more like a country kid now than I did when I grew up here. This lipstick on the other hand, let me look in the mirror here, it's not looking so good. My lips feel very dry. They feel very dry, even more so than the Jeffree Star ones do. Uh, where I forgot to do kiss checks every so often, but you can see this is not transfer resistant, so this is going to transfer. That being said, it doesn't fade terribly quickly, which is actually kind of nice, um, but it will eventually go patchy. You can see I already had a flake come off here, and it's just, I don't know, like for the price, guys, you could do so much better than this. Go with the Sephora cream lip stains. They're $14 each. 
They're way more affordable and in my opinion, they're just as good as this, if not better. For a liquid lipstick, that's $26. Like, if you're $26, you better do my taxes for me. It wasn't the worst liquid lipstick I've ever tried. It wasn't completely unwearable. It just wasn't the best either. So, that's about it for me. I'm gonna kick back with some leftover mac and cheese and watch YouTube and celebrate my new accruance of massive debt. So I hope you guys found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining. If you did, there's a button for that. Spank that like button in the butt. You know it deserves it. And if you want to see more from me, got a couple options now. You can click the videos on either side of my head to binge if you're bored or bummed out. Or hey, you can hit that button that looks like my face and subscribe and become a member of the faithful today. I put out new videos every Sunday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. Toodles!